Hello everyone, my name is Dredden and today we are going to talk about the chemistry station. Alright, we're going to talk about how to make it, where to find the schematic, what you can do with it. Alright, so this is the chemistry station. Inside we have the recipes list. This is everything you can do with it. You've got both medicines and chemicals. And the next area is here, your crafting queue. This is where things are created after you click on here and then you make it. And then those things end up going over here into your output. But before you can actually make anything, this is actually a powered workstation. So you're going to have to get something like some wood or coal. Both will fuel this thing up and you'll be able to use it. Okay, so how do we make it? We're going to need these things, but first you're going to need a schematic. All right, so if you want to unlock it, you can just go over to your intellect, buy up to level four, one, two, three, four, and then go over to yeah science and buy scholar because on level one you says you can craft the chemistry station and it also actually gives you a little bit of a bonus so if you're going into intellect as a tree then you can get a 20 percent bonus on crafting speed plus other various things in here um but anyhow so there's also the option of finding it in a destroyed chemistry station that has a well, small chance of letting you be able to find it and of course the other places you can go to find it are places with rare books so rare books comes from car parts uh, you can get them at bookstores any place you can find a schematic you can probably find this thing eventually so yeah you're just gonna have to go take a look all around now for the recipe we are going to go over here look up chem station you can see that it's locked and of course yeah we've already showed that you can get it from yeah science and chemistry station schematic so but this is the recipe we have our cooking pot but let's use this so that we can see this can go away it can now be crafted at a workstation in this case it's of the workbench so we're going to go over there eventually and get that so i've gathered up the things you need which is two beakers a burning barrel something else 15 pipes and some wood so you need a cooking pot as well to be able to do this so you can just find them in stoves or possibly just laying around in the world, kind of like this one. So now we have that. Um, we actually do need three of them, though. So to get those extra cooking pots, you can find them in old stoves, kind of like this. And just grab those and we bring them back up. Okay, you're also going to need a burning barrel, like I said, which is a bit different. A burning barrel is forged iron and wood. In here, you can see that the burning barrel requires three forged iron. So go over to your forge, grab some of that out. You can also make short iron pipes here. So we're going to grab three of those. Beakers can be found in airdrops and can be found in the various medical piles that are around, as well as the trader, which all the workstations actually can be found at the trader. So not always, but there's a chance you'll find them there. Let's make the burning barrel. Burning barrel takes 32 seconds. We take that, bring it here. The short iron pipes, actually probably the easiest ways to go get those are, let's just use this building as an example, are toilets and sinks. You just take them apart and you get some pipes from them. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna take your toilet here. And yeah, that also gets you pipes. All right, so with our pipes and everything in hand, we can finally produce one of these chem stations. We'll just craft that up. Yeah, and then when it's finally made, just find a place to put it. Guess we'll replace this old crappy one here. Um, it does come in kind of handy to have extra ones if you're doing gunpowder uh, and you have a lot of, of nitrate and coal because that way you can get it done uh, quicker because each one you can just do some at each one. Uh, but let's take a look at what we have here. You make paint for painting things using your paintbrush. I do have a painting tutorial, though it's from Alpha 17 or 16. I should probably make a new one for those. But anyway, um, that's out there. Glue is a little bit cheaper here. It takes seven bones in a campfire, but only five in the chem station. So you can uh, make a lot more repair kits or something using that. Paper, of course, is created here. And there's a lot of locked things that you can find around uh, with various schematics and books that you can be able to craft those. And then of course, yeah, you have your medicines and those, I mean, everything is just going to require whatever it requires, right? It's going to be tricky, like <laughs> testosterone extract. I believe most of the time you get it from a bear. Um, recog, 
various things. And so yeah, you can just figure out what you need, keep it in your inventory, craft it. I find moldy bread is actually a good one because then you make antibiotics out of it eventually. So uh, it's a good source for that as uh, the days go on. Anyhow, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed that video, hit that like button and share with some friends. If you are new to the channel and want to learn more about 7 Days to Die, hit the subscribe button and thank you for hitting the bell as well to get extra notifications. I will see you guys in another video. Bye bye.